Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome to my first Market Monday Craft With Me. And I don't know how many of these I'll ever have, but because I don't um, try and talk about my products on my regular series, I really wanted to do this because it looked like fun. I saw Gail Agostinelli do it. She said she got it from Roxy Creations and um, it looked like so much fun. I just really wanted to do it. And so then I did one and it was really cool. And so I thought I was just going to bring you along so that you could see what it was like. Now, if you don't have any label stamps, use whatever you have. Make your own. You can make your own with Fun Foam. Um, I do have these sets for sale, but I only have 10 of them. So, um, you know, it's it's just one of those things where really I just more wanted to show you this really fun um, technique. So these are labels. They These are just like address labels. And... Um, Gail had some ovals. She said Roxy Creations had some circles, but I didn't have any of those. And so, but basically what it is, is you just go in and use your label stamps to fill up the whole page. Now I did, um, I've got this kind of put together in parts so that you don't, because it does take a while, but you know, it's really fun to do. And um, so what I do is I kind of go in and I do like five of one color and five of another with the same stamp. And then I just keep going until I have the whole thing full. So, um, and then I just, I just stamp it off. You know, you can have a wet towel and wipe it off. I'm just too lazy. So I just kind of stamp it off and pick a different color and then just keep right on going. So I'm just using Distress Inks today because I like the colors of the Distress Inks. But um, yeah, and so see now that one kind of came out a little pinkish orange because actually I think that this, this pink is kind of a pinkish orange. But yeah, you just go in and I think that's enough of those. And um, just keep stamping and stamping until you have filled up your whole page and then I try and use my larger stamps first and then my smaller stamps second um, or you know towards the end I should say because that way um, you can fill in all those little teeny tiny gaps so um, if you you know use all your little ones in the beginning you can still go back and use them later but um you know, so in order to not have a whole bunch of the same stamp, then, let's see, I want more of the, this one is that, oops, I don't want that color. I've already done that color, so let's go with, let's see. I'm supposed to set them aside when I'm done, so I don't get confused. I think I did that one too. Let's do this one. And, and like I said, just, just go in and just stamp. I kind of like just do it in areas. I, I don't know why, just because it just seems easier than just totally spreading it out over the whole page all at once. And um, kind of gives me an area to go next so I don't have to sit here and kind of think about it once I get some down. Then, and I usually try, now I just did like pink and now I'm doing purple with the same stamp. What I usually kind of tried to do was I tried to like do like pink and orange and or green and blue, um, you know, with the same stamp so that the, the colors were a little bit different. But I just think that this, it just really turns out cool. And what will I use them for? I am really not sure. Um, what am I using them for? I'm using them to just sit and relax and create. So, um, you know, I am just really enjoying doing this. I'm doing it a little fast here just so that I can like get the whole technique um, on video for you. But earlier I was just watching TV and just stamping and it was just very fun and relaxing. I really enjoyed myself and um, I was using different, you know, different stamps and that type of thing that I haven't used in a while. I haven't been really doing a lot of stamping. 
So that was really fun to do also. But so anyways, that's the way that you do it is you just continue to go with your stamps until you have the whole thing filled up. And it goes a whole lot faster in the beginning because you've got all this area. The closer you get towards filling it up, the more it's like, oh, I've got a little spot right there. I need to, to use a little stamp right there or what's going to fit in that area. But um, yeah, it's just, I've really been having fun with this. And even though like I've, I've set this up so that I can kind of quit and go to the next step, but I will finish them all and then I'll just have them all. And again, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I'm enjoying making them. And that's the whole point of crafting. You know, like I used to make a lot of flowers. I never used them much, um, especially the 3D ones, but I had a good time making them. So once you fill up your whole page, then it's going to look something like this. And so see how the little stamps just fill in all of the areas. So then once you get all of your stamping done on there um, with your, let me just throw these in here for a second to get them out of the way. Um, once you get all of your label stamps or background stamps, whatever you're using on there, then you come in with some small stamps. Now for these, I used just black stays on. That's one of my, got to find it here, one of my go-to inks for something that's going to be more of a focal point. And then you just pick some little stamps and then you just randomly stamp inside the labels. Just kind of depending on how many you have, I mean, Obviously, you'd need a lot of stamps to have a different stamp for every single one of these. So I just kind of use the same one for a little bit. And if you kind of move them around, because these are labels, when you take it off, you're only going to see a little bit anyways. So, and this one I'm going to be able to peel back. Um, to peel back the outside edge so we can actually see what it looks like. So the very first one I did... They were like, um, they were like square labels. They filled the whole page. So there was nothing to peel away like, um, they did, like Gail Agostinelli did. Um, and so this is going to be fun, I think, because it gives you a really cool reveal then when you're done. And like I said, just, just pick some small stamps that will fit kind of inside your labels. And um, you kind of want to do use, like, not big labels because they fill up so much area and get, you know, you take them apart. So you kind of want a small to medium sized label to do this with or stamp of any kind, however you whatever you have, and um, there's one here that I really, I love this one. Put it on with the bird. But, and then you can kind of do a bit of a background um, before you start, or um, I'm gonna distress it at the end. And it just kind of, but if you don't wanna distress it, you don't have to do that either. But, and then you can even use, like, um, if you have any of the little roller stamps, you can use those. They work great on the long, skinny ones, which I don't have any on this page. Hmm. But they're just kind of fun to, to use and to put on there. So it doesn't have to be any specific type of stamp. And you just continue and continue until you get the whole page filled up with your stamping. Once you get the whole page filled up with your stamping, then it looks like this. And so you've got all of your colored labels on there. 
and then you've got stamps all over all of them. See, so I was saying the long ones look really cute with the with the different types of roller stamps. And um, but then once you get that done, then you can distress it if you didn't distress it or if you didn't do any kind of a background stamping. Now, when Gail did her background stamping, I didn't didn't see like the whole video and um but she did it very lightly in the background. But I really like the way that she did this this way first because she hadn't done the background stamping. And I liked the way that this looked actually um, better than the one with the background stamp, which also looked really cool. But I think it's because I love the color. This is tea dye. Um, but I love the color of the of the tea dye. It just it makes it look so vintage. And I like that look. And, and I don't even necessarily know if it's just because it looks vintage. I like the brown tones. That is, you know, just my go-to colors. It always has been. And um, so maybe that's why I like it. Maybe it's not even that it looks vintage. But once you get that filled in to where you want it, you know, I'm not trying to actually put color or, or really make it an even coloring all over the whole page. I want darker spots, lighter spots, you know. And um, so then once you get that done, then it looks like that. And isn't that cool? I just love the way that this looks. And so then here's the first one I did. And I thought it was really awesome. But these labels are rectangular and... There's three of them across, but they literally fit right up against each other. But that's what the label looks like. And isn't that really quite cool? I really like the looks of that. For some reason, it just reminds me of something when I was younger. I don't know what it reminds me of, but it just does. Um, so, but then this one, being that these are labels that go on envelopes, they actually do have an edge around them. And so hopefully, that's, oh, now see, she could peel hers right off and mine's not wanting to separate because I want the label to stay there and just the extra to come up. So let's see. So there's going to be two rows of these. Oh, and it's, take, it's taking the edge off, but there's also sticky between the labels, too. So this way you're seeing a little bit of the difference, but let's see. Or maybe there's not sticky. Oh, I thought that there was, I thought that there was a piece that ran between the labels. Oh, nope, I guess not. They're right tied up against each other. I was hoping that it would would go between them. But, um, hold on a second, because I want to see what they look like individually. I'm going to grab some non-sticky. These are, um, whenever I ship out a package, you get this label, and it comes off of the non-sticky backing. So, um, and I keep those, and I keep them to put handmade stickers on, homemade stickers on. So I am going to put them on there so we can see what they look like instead of having them right tied up against each other. Because I just think this is an awesome idea. This would look really good in collage. It's like it's already... It's like it's almost got your collage already started for you. But isn't that cool? I love it. I just love it. And so I just thought that I would go ahead and show you. And like I said, I don't like to like, like push my kits during. And that's me. That's just me. It's not don't um, anybody else that does. I'm not saying that that's wrong because it's not. So, because I do totally understand it, now that I'm not taking care of Papa anymore, I'm 
trying to make decisions myself as to, you know, just what I'm going to do because, um, you know, I'm trying to decide whether I go back to work or, or not. And, you know, this is a way to make a little bit of income, but, uh, you know, that's not really why I'm doing it. But a lot of people, they're doing it for some income. And it takes a lot of time, you know. Like, if I were to go back to work, I'm not so sure how many videos I would be able to do a week. Because by the time that you get them ready and you get them done and you get them out there, um, it just, it takes a long time. So if I had a full-time job, then that would make it a little bit harder to, to do as many because then on, when I was off, I would have things to do around here. And so, um, you know, but it does help if you watch people's commercials. That helps them too, even if they have Etsy shops and that type of thing. Um, and, you know, you can't afford to buy from their Etsy shops. That's totally fine. Or you can't afford to buy from my Market Mondays. That's totally fine. Um, but watch a commercial now and then, and then that helps them out. Um you know, now I don't have tons and tons of subscribers like some people do. So, you know, they may make an actual, you know, decent income with their commercials. But um, but it still helps a little bit. I mean, you know, I'll tell you right now, I get, you know, just over a $100 a month. And, you know, I think that that's great. That's a little supplemental income for the household. You know, it helps me buy products for the art room that I need. Of course, I really don't need much in products. It's more like the... Um, perishables like inks and glues and that type of thing that I have to buy. Everything else, I pretty much have enough to last me forever. But um, but yeah. So I just um, I just wanted to do this today so that it's not coming out on a day that's not. You know, I promised back when I started Market Mondays that Mondays would be the day I was going to sell things. And if you know, if you thought you might be tempted and you really couldn't afford it, don't watch on Monday because you know that is what it is. So um. You know, I don't want you to feel like you need to or feel like you really want to. And, you know, and, okay, so these are regular labels. You know, when I watched Gail do it, she did it with ovals. Um, she said, you know, Rachel did it with circles. And I could say, oh, but I want those. But I didn't. I looked through what I had, and I had these address labels, um, which I got at a secondhand store. But, um you know, it's it's just one of those things where it's like you don't have to have what everybody else has, um, and especially if it's going to short you at all, you know, or short your family. You don't want to do that because then it's not enjoyable. You know, you, um, you want to be able to enjoy your crafting, so only budget what you can afford and then only use that budget. Don't don't go out and buy something, and if there's something you see that you really, really want, then, you know, just save up for it, and and then you'll be able to have it, and you'll be able to enjoy it, instead of thinking, I really shouldn't have spent that, and, um, you know, so, and that's what budget crafting is all about, you know, that's why I do the budget crafting series, because, you know, there were times in my life, which it's not now, but when I was younger, you know, money was not, it was tight. Crafting supplies were really not the top of the list. So, um, and that's the way it goes. You know, you see like a lot of people that have a ton of stuff, you know, a lot of times if you look, they're probably a little bit older. And, and that's really the way that life works too is with everything. You know, if you're young, you can't start with the car that your parents have or the house that your parents have because you haven't worked all your life for it. They have. And so, look at this one. Make a wish. Isn't that cute? I love it. So yeah, so just, you know, enjoy your crafting and don't overspend so that it becomes something that's not enjoyable anymore because I think right now, Crafting is a really good way to just kind of get your mind off of anything else that's going on in life. And, you know, even if you don't have a lot of crafty items, I have lots of videos that show you how to use kid markers to dye paper. And, you know, and just all sorts of things, um, you know, where it could be something you have around the house or you could spend a dollar for it at the Dollar Tree. And, you know, you don't even have to buy a ream of paper at Walmart. You can dye envelopes that you get in the mail. 
um, you know, when somebody sends you a bill or a, or a solicitation or something and use those and dye them up and collage them together on a piece of newspaper because nobody's going to see the newspaper. It'll be under the collage. So you don't, you don't have to have a whole lot of stuff to have a really good time and just relax and let yourself go. And it's like everybody's using these and these are really cool. I got these at the Dollar Tree and I bought a couple of them each time I went. I, I have a set of them. Well, I have eight. Um, but I didn't buy them all at the same time. My husband and I each get an allowance every week and that's what we use to spend on the things that we want. And you know, if your allowance is gone, then you just wait until the next week and do it that way because that way you know, we've never, I've never felt bad about buying my craft supplies because I don't use my house money for it. I don't spend grocery money on it. But here we go. So this is what they look like. They're awesome. I can stop lecturing now. But I just think that these were fun. So like I said, find anything to stamp the background. Use a piece of fun foam. Use a piece of cardboard. Cut a couple different shapes of cardboard. You know, do your background and then, you know, some little cute stamps in the front if you have any and they're just they're fun to make I think they look awesome and I'm really glad that I saw Gail do it because I really enjoyed doing this and I definitely will be making more so thank you very much for stopping by I really do appreciate it I hope that if you try this that you have a good time and I hope that you all have an outstanding day bye-bye